Hi, today I'm going to show you administration dashboard for my home automation system based on Vago PLC controller. It's a simple login page for a web page at the end. So this world you can see here is uh, HTML and JavaScript uh, programming. Some widgets here for uh, hot water usage. You can see it's being kitted up now. The boiler is 27% power, uh, weather forecast, gates closed, energy usage, some uh, movement sensors on the left, and then number of lights which are on. I'll come back to the widgets later. Now let's move on to some other things, the visualizations and the base floor. This is an, an, an PNG file in the background and some active elements here. You can turn off and, and on, on and off lights, you can move the shades up and down. You can check the temperature in the rooms or set the temperature in the rooms and see if the uh, heat exchanges are working. So, basic things you'd expect from visualizations. Then on the ground floor, almost the same, just different room setting. You can see the temperature here uh, is higher than the target in this room. The target is higher, so the heater is, is on. This is how it is shown. And then to sensors, these are all sensors which are plugged into the PLC or the Raspberry Pi. One of the sensors is not working here, I have to figure out figure out why. And you can see the, the amount of light, uh, the, the rain sensor, um, the temperature outside and the pressure. Now some graphs. This is data stored in a SQL database. You can see the temperatures in, in rooms and the temperature uh, outside. There's a high chart uh, libraries. And then the intensity of light or the uh, pressure, barometric pressure. Uh, so quite straightforward, nothing fancy here, but it's all HTML and JavaScript based. And then I call it assets, so the energy usage, you can see that lowest energy consumption during the day, some 200 watts, and at night goes down to 96 watts. I have to still figure out why uh, we consume 96 watts when nothing is happening. And then tank level on the right, you can see it's not perfect. I'm still working on the algorithm of measuring the distance here. Now the camera. It's a 5 megapixel camera, so I'm very happy with it. It goes for Raspberry Pi, so this is not read directly from the camera. This is why it takes some time. For example, here a full picture. So you can see the details now. Quite well, 5 megapixels. And then back to the full size uh, image, which is adjusted automatically to the width of the screen. Now the Wiesmann boiler, communication via uh, Raspberry Pi, the uh, hot water heating is on, the mode is just the water, you can see the boiler temperature, fumes temperature, the power of the, the burner now, 34.5%. You can set the temperatures easily, colorful, just you know, to make it look good, nothing more. And now the schedules, much easier to do it here than via um, VitoTroll or the burner itself, the, the different uh, schedules here. For example, the hot water circulation, so I'll change it to see if the pump turns on. Let's put it quite late, copy Monday, well, well it's too late, it will interfere with the first, with the second schedule, so I'll be better on setting 18 here. Now copy Monday and then save a few seconds and now it's set in the boiler. Let's see if the circulation started working now. Hmm. Still not. It usually takes some five, ten seconds for the boiler to catch on. Let's see again if it's all fine, the water circulation. It looks good here. I'm back to the control. Right. Now there it is. 
circulation pump is on so it's working and now to put it back to the previous position quite easy with the buttons up and down right or manually simply from the keyboard 06 or just 6 copy Monday and then to remove those you can either by putting 0 or just simply deleting it it then knows that there is no program for the given date okay now we can move forward to the garden the sprinklers and drip lines a simple on on off switches uh, of course but then you can turn on and off the schedules, set the start and finish hours, set the week dates or the duration manually and then it tells you that you have to send the data to the PLC. Quite easy. Now the controls, more details, the blinds, you, you can see it first that there is the thresholds where the sunset and sunrise trigger. This is the current sun position, 5-6 degrees below horizon. You can switch on and off the outer shading or enter the minimum amount of light and the minimum temperature when the outer shading kicks in so that it doesn't work when it's too dark or, or, or not hot enough and then for individual uh, blinds move it up and down or to a given position you can see the status and the description of statuses or enter details uh, blue letters are editable so the movement up movement down powering uh, position which you want to move it when it's shaded and, and some other details for shading and other shades as well right yeah. and schedules for the blinds you can set whether they should move up and down by light, time or just that off when they move down, should they move down completely or to a given position there are two timers and different for normal days and for the weekend those timers do not work now because it is set to move up and down with with sunrise and sunset and that's about it uh, one more look at the dashboard the water is still heating up the, the burner is at 27 percent there's the movement in the kitchen we can see how it looks like on the visual visualization this is a web page so you can have many tabs open at the same time and see uh, the same things on dashboard and on, on the visual, visualization itself let's put some lights on and see how how it's visible on the dashboard there you go the number of lights moved up from two to four you can see them here on list and then when we turn them off that should also be visible on the on the dashboard There's the movement visible, the same shown here, and the energy usage. Gate close, tank level, hot water, boiler, weather forecast, most important things. And one more thing I would like to show you is how responsive it all is. It is based on bootstrap, so maybe some widgets could be prepared better, but they react and adjust to the screen width so when you take a mobile phone or a tablet it all looks good automatically without much work here so for the widgets this could be a mobile phone screen and that's what you would see then um, as a review of what's happening with your house okay that would be it thank you